Tens of millions of voters across the country have already cast their ballots in this presidential election. That includes more than one million voters in Ohio. And in Michigan, early in-person voting begins statewide tomorrow, the first presidential election in that state where voters have this option. Democrats have dominated early voting in recent elections, but this year, the early turnout in key battleground states is breaking records, thanks in part to Republicans. We're seeing more likely Democrats voting early than Republicans, but the margins are very much smaller than they were in 2020. And, and and it, mat it matters a lot across different battleground states. Pennsylvania, for example, in 2020, we saw Democrats make up 72% of early voters at this point. Now it's down to 60%. Republicans have made it a point this year to encourage voters to cast their ballots ahead of Election Day, including former President Trump, though he still has his doubts. Go out and make a plan to vote early, vote absentee. Now we have this stupid stuff where you can vote 45 days early. A host of Republicans have sharply criticized early voting in previous elections. Back in the 80s, we had Election Day. Yeah. Our Constitution says Election Day. It doesn't say election season, election month. And the longer you drag that out, the more fraught with problems there are. Kerry Lake, who's running for U.S. Senate in Arizona this year, voted early in this election and is among those in the party who have eased their criticisms of early voting. The shift in strategy could pay off here for Republicans. Take the battleground state of Nevada, where more Republicans have voted early than Democrats so far, erasing the advantage Democrats held in 2020's early voting period. This is the first presidential election for Alex Triantafilou as Ohio's Republican Party chairman. He's previously told us a key part to his strategy to winning elections in this state is to encourage Republicans to bank their votes. You know, the Democrats have done a better job of of corralling the early vote. And uh, we have to do a better job as Republicans of getting our people to request their ballots or vote in person. With more people banking their votes early, Republicans hope they'll be able to focus their resources late in the game on those voters who might otherwise stay home to convince them to get to the polls at the last minute. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to turnout. And that's why it matters.